So Ben, looking forward to to an Ulster final. Uh, what's it been like in training this week? Obviously, there hasn't been a lot of time between the semi final and the decider, Ben. But uh, what's training been like? I'm sure there's a great atmosphere there. Oh, it's a great atmosphere, surely. Probably best that there's only a week in between it, uh, so boys don't get carried away. You know, if there's two weeks, a lot of time to dwell on it. Uh, but we'll we'll be happy now to get Sunday over us, hopefully with a positive result. Yeah, just maybe touching that uh, semi-final. It was a huge game, and when it came down to the to the nuts and bolts of the tie, it was you guys that that came through it, and the bench proved its worth. So that last weekend with Gary Bannon and, and Kyle coming on to get the all important scores. Definitely, it was a tough game. Uh, Sean McLaren's a very tough side. Um, we knew that going into it that we'd need to be at our best. Uh, them going down to fourteen men maybe helped us, but Kyle. Was unlucky not to start in the semi final. He's probably disappointed. And point to prove coming off the bench and got the goal. Um, and Gary, say he's been injured most of the season, so that was his first real game back and kicked two massive scores for us to get us over the line. Yeah. Do they do the performances now put pressure on the management because these boys will be looking for starts this weekend? Well, definitely. I wouldn't want to be picking the team this weekend. <laughs> A lot of boys pushing for positions, not even just the two boys there. You know, there's other boys on the bench that have been pushing for, for positions all season and defence as well as attack. So they have a tough job on their hands. Yeah. I know the likes of Sean Boyce has been carrying a knock and Danny McBride has been soldiering on through uh, carrying a knock over the last number of weeks as well. Uh, how is fixed personnel-wise? Is everybody available, Ben? I know everybody wants to be available g- given the fact that it's a yeah, provincial right. final. Everybody will be putting their hand up anyway, but I know we're in good enough shape. So we are. Uh, Gary was carrying a knock. He's back now, and Danny he came off at halftime the last day, but he should be all right for the weekend again. And and uh, Shane, Shane's looking all right as well. So hopefully we'll full panel to pick from, and we'll need the full panel to get past Dan. You know they're a tough, a tough team from what we've seen. Yeah. Uh, how would you sum up playing in Ulster football this year? Because I know that the management. Wanted you guys to be in an Ulster final. That 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 was the target. So it was, and, and Barney Carnes spoke a lot about that over over the last number of weeks. What's the, the overall experience been like in an Ulster for you, Ben? It's been great. You know, uh, the club's been been in it twice before the Junior Ulster uh, Championship and hasn't got past the semi final stage. So there's a lot of pressure on us. Maybe when there's a lot of talk about it this season. Once we won the county championship, but you know, it's great. We've I feel like we've been getting better each game as we went on you know the quarter final when we played for a half really and uh, the down champions came back at us and then the last day again up against a strong team but we managed to get the points over the bar at the right time and you know hopefully we'll do the same on Sunday yeah. you know when it matters. As in the last day it was a there were a big physical team that you met in Sean McDermott's what do you know about the cabin champions then? Well, we've only seen what they played this year in the Ulster Championship. What's been videoed, uh, I've watched the game against Desert Martin. You know, they'd be much like ourselves in the way they set up. So, but they have a couple of good forwards and defenders. They're sort of well rounded all over the pitch, really. So, we'll have to be at our best. You know, the no doubt it'll go down to the wire and they'll push it the full way. Yeah. Uh, where do you see the threats coming from? Of what you've seen? Even they're full for, yeah. or they're, yeah. All are for full forward line in Sandy. You know, we have a couple of guys that play for Cavan. Um, they'll have to be well marshaled, you know. And they have a centre half back there and their full backs tidy as well. So, you know, the boys are going to be on their top game to get over to get over the line. Yeah. It's you know, you've been around around the block a bit. You're not that old, you're twenty seven years of age, Ben, but you have played on a on a lot of downings team. Uh, you mentioned about Dan being a well rounded team. Is this probably the the best downing squad that, that you've been part of or probably the most rounded downing squad if you want to put that way that you've been part of? I would say so. You know, there's with threats all over the all over the pitch. Even, you know, Soma, I know he starts with 13 on his back, but he plays as a sweeper and he, he attacks very well. He's one of our most unrated, underrated players. You know, he comes up with goals and points all the time. Very important for us. Uh, and then you have four or five scoring forwards there who puts the ball over the bar every game. So it's it's a good squad we have there, you know, and it's not even the 15 that start. It's it's the finishers, as we like to call them, who come on and get the game over the line. And there's a lot of boys pushing for jerseys. So there'll be a lot of jerseys up for grabs now on Sunday, but uh, I'm sure the management will get the right calls.
Yeah. Uh, I know I spoke to uh, Hugo McClaffrey, the club secretary earlier. He said that the, the atmosphere is unbelievable in Downings at, at the moment uh, amongst the, the, the community. And it's, it's great to be having it this time of year, Ben. Definitely. You never thought you'd be getting prepared for an Ulster final the week before Christmas. Uh, maybe Christmas helps with the buzz about it, but a lot of people coming home and stuff. Uh, but the atmosphere has been great. You know, everybody's talking about it and I'm sure there'll not be a light left on Downings on Sunday. Everybody will be in Clonus watching it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I also said um, about uh, progressing next year in Donegal and intermediate football as Ulster champions would be a big statement. But uh, there is the sort of carrot that there's an All Ireland series if you if you can get through that as well. I know we're probably talking about it, but that's something that you're not thinking about, Ben. No, definitely not. I, we we're just fully focused on Sunday and taking on the Cavan champions. You know, and I think after that, there obviously be a great bonus for the club. But a uh, we're our full focus is on Sunday. Yeah. Just finally, then you had some big performances this year. You had a huge performance in the junior championship final to lift the title in Donegal. You beat the Down champions. They did a big one last week. In fairness, to to, to beat the Monaghan side, Sean McDermott. Yeah. Will it take the best performance of the year um, if you're going to come through this next one? It definitely will. You know, Dan are in the final for a reason. Um, they're a great side. You know, great players. So from one to thirty, we'll need to be at it on Sunday if we want to. Be bringing the trophy back to Downings on Sunday evening. Okay, well, I hope you're right and you bring it home so you do. Listen, so Ben, uh, yeah, thanks for talking to us and, and the best of luck on Sunday. No problem, thanks.